In this video, I'm going to show you how you can determine breaks for shift workers. Now, I did this for a company a while back, and they had um, three shifts, and they had um, numerous people in each shift. Um, so the first shift, which is basically the day, they had 33 employees. And then for the second shift, which is like the evening, and they had 22 employees. And the third shift is the night, and they had 19 employees. Now, the problem was is they didn't want all of their employees to be off at, every single, you know, at the same time. So they wanted to break up the breaks. So they get um, two 15 minute breaks and a half an hour lunch break. And so I wrote a little bit piece of code here. It's very simple. And it's basically breaking up the time for each of them. So they, they have staggered lunch and coffee breaks during the day. So let's click the button. Okay, I am asked this all the time to, um, to uh, put the macro to the button. You right click on the macro and you go assign, or you, you put the button on and then you assign macro and then you can select from your macros. Okay, so let me run this. And now you can see that everybody has breaks staggered. And I believe that there's nine people off on this, this shift at the same time. The second shift, I think there's five. And the third shift, I think there's four, I'm not sure. But what we'll do is we'll go with the code. It's very simple. So let's look at the code. So here's my code and it's called breaks. Um, the only thing I have defined up here is count and that's so how many times it's going around. So for on the first shift, you it goes around. Uh, so there's nine people off at the same time. And then basically I've just break, broken their uh, their breaks and so that they're not overlapping. So the first coffee break for the first person is 9.15, the second is 9.30, 9.45 and 10 o'clock. And the same thing goes with the lunch hours, 11, 11.30 and so on. So now um, the old story, as my professors used to say, conquer and divide, I have made three little macros. So the first one's first shift, the second one is the second shift, um, so, and you can see that we have the same thing. We have 5.30 and 5.45 and 6 o'clock. And the third shift, we have 1 a.m., uh, 1.15 and 1.30 and 1.45. And so, um, I will, of course, include the code in the description of my video. Please subscribe.